where, where are the farms that you've been to? Costa Rica, Peru, Bali, and Mexico. And are any of them similar in any way? No, none of them are. And are any of the farmers similar? No, absolutely not. And the process even. So the only thing that's the same is like dirt and the and coffee the, bean. And the coffee bean. A plant. It. Actually, you can show me pictures and I could tell you that's that one from that one. That's how distinctive they are from one another. And what are, I guess if you could just, I don't want, we don't need to go into too much detail, but what are some of the process differences of each, each farmer? Like what is it, what is something that like they all do differently? So for example, let's the one in Peru, right? The Peruvian farmer, he has a waterfall in the back of his, of his growing area. Natural waterfall. Natural waterfall, okay. right? So he goes and then he grabs what are basically, it looks like a wasp nest, right? It's made out of paper and then he puts dirt in it. So he ferments it under the actual waterfall so that this paper cone thing grabs all of the minerals from the water and then he injects it into like his actual like rows of coffee. Right. So all of those minerals let the coffee grow. It lets it be better. It creates a better environment for the dirt and it just oxygenates and nitrogenizes everything in there. Right. The farmer in Costa Rica, he doesn't use any irrigation. So instead of actually having a water facility plant, what he does is he plants banana trees, which are 90 percent water. He cuts those down. And then once the actual like leaves become, they degrade, they actually leave water. And that's how he actually waters all the coffee plants. The ones in Bali, because they are in, a, in such a different climate and such a different area, like you can go from elevation to elevation and all of the coffee plants are very different. Ones grow really, really hard. Other ones grow really, really soft and really, really big. And so they use some of the clay from the volcano that is in there to like get everything ready. So there's a whole bunch of process and it's not even, if we talk more about the tank parts, then that's even. We'll get there. Yeah. Uh, are any of the farmers... Like in my head, so I know I know one farm in Peru, and it's like very much a family-run mm-hmm. establishment, right? Mm-hmm. And so the whole family's involved, kind of like farming in the United States used to be, I would say. Right. Is it similar, or yes. are there now companies, conglomerates? No, I think the it's way not that a game for the wealthy. It's not. Okay. You have to be passionate, and it has to be something that has been taught down from generation to generation to generation. And they're all of them that I've dealt with are families. All of them. All are. of them. And like beer, so if like if we were all master brewers, we would all be making beer differently. We would all be letting things ferment differently. Yeah. In some cases, you can add process like CO2 to speed up, or sugar to speed up certain processes within right. that making. It's similar. I would imagine it's in coffee, it's the same. They all Correct. do it differently to get a note or a taste that they want. Yes. And it starts from the, from the type of bean that you're... Everything is Arabica, but within the Arabica family, there's, you know, genetic modifications that each country has done to create a better tasting coffee. And everyone has something different. Everyone has something different. So you can't get just uh, like if Nick and I were next to one another in our farms, he could have like a CR95, a CR97, and I can have a Maragogipe, I can have a Pluma de Oro, and it would be completely different coffees. These are like varietals. Exactly. Like in wine, you'd have a clone 115, a clone 117. Exactly. It's a Pinot grape. Right. They all okay. are different. Okay. Is there a right or wrong answer when it comes to taste? Or is it basically based on the farmer's preferences? Or farmer's like personal preference. preference? Yeah, personal and farmer's preference, basically. Okay.